Hi, my name is Sachin Thomas and I would like to take you through this video which shows how to work on encrypted token authentication. Before that, we'll just go to this diagram which will also give us a brief idea on the use case. So in this uh, diagram, you can see there are two components. One is a custom application and one is a Jasper server. The user from the custom application will try to call Jasper server for authentication. The medium of uh, calling could be uh, a REST call, a visualize, or an HTTP URL call. But all these three calls, they will pass an encrypted token. An encrypted token can be generated from a custom application and then pass through any of these three calls. And we will also have a decryption mechanism in the Jasper server which will deploy custom level to Jasper server and it will use that decryption program to encrypt to decrypt the pro, uh, token which is coming from the custom application in this video we'll further see the overview of a java class file uh, for encryption and decryption we'll also see configuring application context uh, external authentication to your file which is a uh, sample file provided by jasper soft and also the how to use the encrypted token parameter in visualize.js so first we'll go to the java class in eclipse so this is eclipse studio in this eclipse studio you can see there is a project named cipher and there is a class named my cipher so this my cipher is implementing an abstract class that is cipher i so this class cipher i is coming from a reference library from jaspersoft that is jasper server api java. from this jar we are using an abstract class cipher i and an abstract method decrypt as well as encrypt so in this is a standard program which does an encryption and decryption so this program uh, so it can be a, a, it can be any logic or algorithm for encryption and decryption so the only thing is that the skeleton would be like you will be using a encrypt function an abstract method and will using a, and also a decrypt a method which is again an abstract method and both this method will have a parameter string parameter so for encrypt will pass an original text that is a plain text and which will which it will try to encrypt and give us the encrypted text for decrypt which is what the jasper server will refer to will get the encrypted text as a parameter and it will just convert that to uh, it will decrypt it for authentication so in this main program you can see that i have passed an original string where user role organization and two uh, profile attributes has been passed so once i run this program i'll get this original text display which i'm just doing a uh, system.out.println message and also will also see that i'm using encrypted and a, a encrypt method to encrypt this particular string plain text string so after once the program is fine and working what you can do is add this program to a jar file and deploy it to jasper server so first to dip, may I convert into a jar file you can use this eclipse feature a file export and click a jar file select this cipher project and give the path for example jar folder save next finish so once we have exported it into a jar file either you can just deploy it to jasper server so here you can see that here we have exported it into a jar file so the name of the jar file can be anything and then in the web inf folder of jasper server inside web inf you can see there is a lib folder so you'll be placing this jar file inside the lib folder so to save time i just uh, uh, moved the cipher.jar file into this uh, lib folder so you can see that the the jar file is over here and now since we have deployed this code now we'll go to a file which is being provided by a sample file so we have external a uh, couple of external authentication files provided by jaspersoft so here for this case we'll be using external authentication pre auth um, mt.xml file so once you open this file you can see that 
we have a principal parameter. So in this principal parameter, we'll pass um, username, roles, organization, ID, profile attributes. For this case, for this session, what we are more focused is on a token decryptor property. So this token decryptor, you can see that we have a bean class, which is api.common.crypto dot plain text uh, non cipher so this will just take a plain text um, as an original string from the custom application and it will not do an any encryption any decryption apply any decryption algorithm on it so to add our class into this uh, file uh, so what we'll do is we'll just um, use the same bean bean class equal to we'll enter our package name the path that is com dot jasper soft dot cipher and the space here dot name of the class that is my cipher And we'll comment out this section. So we are just telling this token decryptor property to use our custom uh, deployed function uh, class file that is my cipher. So once you have uh, edited this, just save this file and then you can just uh, deploy this file as well into the Jasper server. So again, for the sake of saving time, I've just put this file over here. So you can see that uh, application context external pre auth empty.xml file is being already placed into Jasper server. So after placing this file, you can restart the Jasper server. So once you restart the Jasper server, we'll just try to log into Jasper server and see what is the status of the users. So we, as we go to manage users, we can see a standard set of users, but we can see that there is no user called as Sam. So from this from this call, what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a user Sam with role JRS underscore role one in the organization underscore one and with two profile attributes PA one and PA two. So this will achieve it by calling and visualize your JS call. So far as for so we don't have a custom application, but what we are doing is we are using jsfiddle.net, um, which will uh, from where we can just write a visualize.js program and call Jasper Server report. So here you can see that uh, so again this is taken from a standard document by Jasper Server. So if you see the document. Uh, under login and logout, under login with SSO token, you can see that uh, we we pass the token under variable. We create a variable t, and we pass this encoded uh, token, and then we call uh, when we call uh, uh, visualize authentication and pass this parameter uh, pp with which have a token which have a uh, token inside it. So for this program, what we'll do is. We'll copy this encrypted token over here, and under authentication, uh, we'll just pass this to the token. Uh, <coughs> and again, to pre-auth and token name as PP. So. Once this is done, we'll just run this application. You can see that it's running and okay, the report has been generated, so that means that we are authenticated. So what we'll do is we'll go to Jasper server logout since it has taken the user sam 
We'll go to manage users. Okay, we can see that there is a user created SAM and we have a role known as JRS underscore role assigned to this user SAM and we have two profile attributes, profile attribute one and two with values USA and one, which is being which was same as over here, which we have provided to this um, to this class file. So it has decrypted the uh, token uh, successfully. So if if for example, if we are just passing an incorrect token, like for example, we just remove this double quotes, and we'll try to run this again. You can see that it's not generating. So to to see the reason why it's not generating, we can go to the Catalina.log file, which says that um, illegal block size exception. That means that the the token authentication, uh, the token text which we have passed is not of length uh, of multiple of sixteen. So which has given which has uh, because of which this has um, this exception has been raised. So this was it for um, this video and I would thank you for all your time.